Good morning. It's Sunday, December 12th. It's a special day at Surfside Methodist. Our choirs and a chamber orchestra will present a beautiful cantata titled, And There Was Light. It's a wonderful way to enjoy the sounds of the season. And today is also the day of our children's Christmas party after the 11 o'clock service. We hope you can join us for these special events. Today is the third Sunday in Advent. So we light the candle of hope, the candle of peace, and today's candle of joy. The third Sunday in Advent is known as Gaudete, a Latin word meaning rejoice. We celebrate looking forward to the birth of Jesus and the pink candle can be used to represent our joy. Do you know the song, I've Got That Joy, 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 Joy Down In My Heart? It was one of our children's favorite church songs when they were young and it sure is a joy-filled song. I like the line that says, down in my heart to stay. And that's what I want to talk about today, joy that stays. Now we surely think of Christmas as being a happy time. If I ask you to name some of the things about Christmas that make you happy, what would you say? Presents, presents, and more presents. Well, you'd probably add decorations, parties, food, music. Those are all happy parts of the holiday. But did you know that there's a difference between happiness and joy? Happiness can be thought of as being fleeting, which means that it might not last. It might go away. We get tired of or outgrow some of the presents that we receive. The pleasure that we get from food usually goes away after the meal is over. Decorations have to be taken down and put away. But joy, true joy, is deeper, more important, lasting, more meaningful. And the true joy of the story of Christmas is that God sent Jesus to tell us that He is in charge of the world, that He loves us, that love will not go away, even in the midst of unhappiness. I saw an acronym years ago. An acronym is like an abbreviation or a special meaning that's given to the first letters of words. This one had to do with the word joy. The J stands for Jesus, the O for others, and the Y for you. True joy is connected to God through His Son, Jesus. Through his love for others, our love for others, and through knowing and accepting his love for us. In Luke chapter 3 verses 7 through 18, we continue to hear John tell the people that they must stop being selfish, that they must learn to share. He tells them that if they have two shirts, they should give one to someone who has none. That they should do the same with food. That they should not accept any money that is not owed them. And that they should not falsely accuse others. In other words, stop thinking only of yourself and think of others. John knew, and we can know too, that true joy comes from knowing the source of that joy, from being connected to God through Jesus, from serving others, and from accepting His love for us, His love that will stay with us forever. We have to remember that that 
is a joy that will last. It will be with us on sad days and happy days, and it will never go away. Let's pray. Dear God, we've got that joy, 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 joy down in our hearts. And it comes from knowing your son, Jesus, from knowing that you love us, that it will never go away. From knowing that we can serve and share that love with others. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. Thanks for being with us this morning. Hope to see you at the events around our church. Hope you'll have a great week and that you'll remember that joy is available for you every day. I love you. Surfside Methodist loves you. And God loves you. Bye-bye.